Now for the last question, uh, question eight says a teacher is designing a program to process uh, pseudocode projects written by her students. <coughs> uh, where each student project is stored in a text file, the process is split into a number of stages and each stage performs a different task and creates a new file uh, right named as shown. <coughs> um, okay, so I guess what Michael a day, right, underscore source, uh, yeah, text file. Right, so that's going to be a student project produced by student Michael a day. Uh, right, then we've got the next one. So that's going to be what appended with S1. Right, file produced by stage one. Yeah, the next one, right, S2, right, stage two. The teacher has defined the first program module as follows, right, delete comment. That's called with a parameter of type string representing a line of pseudocode from a student's project file. It's then going to return the line after removing any comments and, well, about comments, a comment starts with two forward slash characters <clears throat> uh, right, and includes all the remaining characters on the line. The following example shows a string before and after the comment has been removed. Right, okay, so, I mean, if we just think about how we can do this, like, I think the best way is, well, of course, well, uh, you know, we want to find out where these two characters are, so just looping through character by character. And what we can use is we can use mid. And rather than just uh, sort of having the what third parameter as one, which means you know just get one character, uh, we can have that third parameter as two, right? So basically, you know, get the next two characters. Um, and of course, yeah, if that equals like a double slash, uh, well, then what we would want to do is we would then just want to actually go back one character, right? So do kind of minus index, um, and then we would just return. Uh, well, we would return mid, right? Starting from character one. Um, and then sort of going from the sort of current index minus one. Uh, yeah, I think that should do it. Um, and I suppose like if we never see that, well then we would just return the original line. Um, because of course, you know, that means there's no comments right in this particular line. Um, so yeah, let's try and do that. And again, you know, of course you can get the starter code for this. Um, I mean, I guess there's actually no starter code, but yeah, there is just an example file that we can use. And if we actually look while well, this example file, uh, this is actually one that I just uploaded. Uh, you can see what nearly a year ago now. Um, and yeah, this is just the one, you know, doing the square root method, uh, right? Yeah, using this Newton Raff uh, right, Newton Raphson approach. Um, okay, so yeah, let's think then why well, it's going to be a function. Uh, so let's just go right function and it's what delete comment. Um, right, so this takes a parameter and they didn't actually tell us the name, so we can call it anything. Uh, let's just call it line. And uh, let's go return string. Because, um, of course, well, this is going to return yeah, the line with the comment removed. Now, I think here we actually probably don't need to declare any variables. Uh, although, yeah, I will leave space just in case we do. Um, right, so let's, I mean, if we want to loop through character by character, well, then, of course, uh, let's go index. Right, we'll start that at one, and let's go well, to the length of line. Now, of course, I mean, yeah, obviously, well, if we're looping through character by character, of course, we're just going to use mid one. Um, but yeah, right, in, in this case, uh, so I mean, let's try and determine if, yeah, if the current position kind of has, uh, I, I guess, what, two forward slashes after it. So we want to go, right, if mid, and um, that's going to be line, right, so line is the string, uh, the starting position is going to be the index, and then we want to get the next two characters, or I, I guess, well, yeah, this character and, you know, the next one. Uh, right, so if that's equal to these, um, well, then what we want to do, we just want to go return, and let's go mid. Uh, so again, we're going to, well, um, yeah, obviously, well, line is going to be the string. Uh, we're going to start at one. And then we're just going to go to the index minus one, because if we think, well, the index is going to be, uh, you know, this first, um, yeah, this sort of first, you know, slash character. Uh, right, therefore, yeah, of course, therefore, we want to go minus one, right? We want to get the character before that. Um, and yeah, OK, so I, I think that should work. Right, then let's just go end if and right, let's just go next index. And of course, well here, if it's exited the for loop, uh, you know, without ever returning anything, um, well, that means that obviously this line had no comments. So in that case, what we can just go return line. Um, and then, yeah, I think that should work. So I'm actually gonna try just with a few different examples, right? Let's say the first one. Uh, right, let's go delete comment and yeah, let's just paste that. 
Um, right, let's also go delete comment and we'll have something with no comments. Uh, let's go, well, like, uh, I don't know, maybe output A plus B. Um, and all right, let's have something with a comment. Um, I don't know, just get yeah, output, like, like result, something like that. And yeah, let's see if these work. Um, yeah, so the, the first one, well, because the comment is kind of the first line, right, then it's just going to be empty. Um, yeah, because obviously, well, we've sort of removed everything. Uh, and then, yeah, these two are working, right, and obviously this one with the comment removed. And notice that if we look here, we have no space at the end, where if we look here, well, we do have that one space at the end, um, because, of course, we have the space here. Um, so, yeah, I think that's good. Right, then the next, uh, okay, yeah, so we've done that. Um, and okay, actually, right here they do actually give us the uh, function header. So yeah, we didn't need to write that. Right, a second module is to find stage one. It's called with a parameter of type string representing a student name. Right, we want to create a new stage one file. It's going to copy each line from the student's project file to the stage one file. Right, after removing any comment from each line. Right, we don't write blank lines to the stage one file and uh, returns the number of lines written to the stage one file. Um, okay, then it says module delete comment must be used in your solution. Right now, we want to think then stage one, well, is this going to be a functional procedure? Now, since here it says returns, well, that's going to be a function. Um, yeah, and I think, I mean, right, I'm just going to copy these instructions, right, since there is a little bit we need to do here. Um, right, so I'm just going to copy these under this one, uh, and then, yeah, hopefully now we can just uh, directly start coding it. Right, so this one again, this is also going to be a function. It's going to be what stage one and write a parameter of type string representing a student name. Uh, I mean, for let's, let's just go student name. Right, and then what is this going to return? It's going to return the number of lines written. So that's going to be an integer. Right, so here then, I mean, if we want to return the number of lines returned, I mean, that's going to be what account. Um, yes, yeah, so what the number of lines written. So let's go uh, count, I guess, what lines written or just count should be okay. Uh, right, that's going to be an integer. Now, do we need anything else? I mean, I guess one will need the file name. Um, so we can say this will be the source file name. And let's also say the uh, what stage one file name. Uh, so let's go, yeah, source file name. Um, or let's say, yes, yeah, stage one file name. Uh, okay, and then, yeah, I think we probably probably want a line variable. Um, because, I mean, th this will be the, uh, let's say, the result of calling, uh, you know, delete comment. Um, right, then, is, yeah, is there anything else? <clears throat> um, Right, I, mean, I think, again, maybe that's enough. I'm just going to leave them to have space just in case. Now, what we want to do first, then, we want to open these two files. Um, or I guess, well, let's actually first uh, just, yeah, assign these files. Uh, well, I, yeah, I guess, right, let's assign the, you know, file name to these variables. Um, so the source file name, well, that's going to be the student name. And then if we actually looked what, then it was going to be an underscore. All right, then it's going to be source and then just dot txt. Right, and then the stage one file name, um, well, again, right, that was going to be the student name. And then this time, uh, what's just going to be underscore was it S1. Uh, yeah, I'm just going to check the capitalization. I think it was capital letters. Um, yeah, capital letters. Right, so yeah, that should be okay. So let's open the source file name, and this is the one we want to read. So let's go for read, right, then let's go open file, uh, stage one file name, and this will be for write. Um, and yes, yeah, some people might, well, some people sometimes ask, you know, can you open two files at the same time? Um, and yeah, of course, well, here we can. Um, like, I mean, you, well, of course, you couldn't have it where you open, like, source file name for read, you, uh, unless they also open the same file for write at the same time. Um, but yeah, like, obviously, as long as they're different files, you know, that's fine. Right, so if we want to read line by line, well, then we can just use a while loop. Uh, so let's go while not end of file, and that's going to be the source file name. Um, yeah, let's just end the while. Then what we want to do, well, then we just want to read that line, uh, yeah, into this line variable. 
So right, let's go read file, and that's going to be the source file name, and we're just reading that into the line variable. Um, right then, I guess we just want to remove the comment. So if we go line, uh, right, delete comment, and that takes the parameter of line. Um, yeah, I guess well the argument line. Um, right, and then it says, uh, okay, so right, we want to copy each line from the students project to the stage one file. Um, yeah, and well, that means we're after removing any comments from each line, right? And we don't write blank lines to the stage one file, uh, right? We return the number of lines written. Okay, so I, I guess we're here then for this count lines written. Uh, let's just initialize that to zero, and we just want to say if, right? So if the line is not equal, um, right, to an empty string like that. Uh, of course, this one you could also use length, right? So if length of line is zero, um, yeah, I mean that's going to be equivalent. Right, then what we want to do, so here, well, one, we just want to increment the lines written. Um, of course, well, then we just want to write this. So let's use write file, and we write into the stage one file name. Um, and yeah, we're just writing this line. So yeah, I mean, I think that's all we need to do, right? Then, of course, we just return. Um, yeah, okay. So right here then, I mean, let's make sure just to close the files. So the source file name, right, yeah, close, right, stage one. And let's just go return the count lines written. Um, all right, and then, I mean, if, if we just call that, so, all right, it's the function, let's go output, uh, right, stage one, and uh, let's go Michael a day. Um, yeah, that should be okay. Uh, right, so here it's saying, we've written 17, but nothing has actually been written. Um, okay, all right, yeah, that's my stupid mistake. Um, of course, this should be, right, if line, right, if length of line is not equal to zero. Um, and then, yeah, that, that seems to work, right? It's, it's removed all the comments. Now, of course, you know, you could test this with some like more simple example if you wanted, um, but yeah, I think that's working. Um, all right, and yeah, guys, it seems then that was the last question. So as always, well, hopefully this video was useful. Uh, if it was, uh, of course, well, yeah, feel free to watch the next video. Um, or any questions, then just ask them in the comments and either me or someone else will try to answer. All right, so yeah, see you next time.